So this is how to set up a truth table, part one, truth value combinations. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to complete the initial setup of a truth table by figuring out how many rows a table needs, creating the statement columns, and creating all possible truth value combinations for the statement letters. So let's say you have a statement like this one, which is if B and Q, then Q and R, and you need to make a truth table. How do you do it? Well, you're going to need to write out all of the possible combinations of truth values for the simple statements and put them on a table. To do that, you'll need to complete three tasks. First, you need to figure out how many rows the table will need. That will tell you how many combinations of truth values there are for the statement letters. Second, you need to create statement columns where every statement letter gets its own column. And third, you need to fill in the truth values for those columns. And that will create all the possible combinations of truth values. So first, how many rows do I need? So you have this statement. And you need to know how many rows the table will have. Well, the number of rows is given by a general formula, which is 2 to the n. But you might be thinking, wait, what's n? Well, n is just the number of statement letters that appear in the statement. So in this case, we've got three statement letters, P, Q, and R. So for the statement, n is 3. So there are 2 to the 3 rows, 2 to the n. So that's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So 8 rows. And here they are. Next, we need to create statement columns for each of the statement letters, and they simply go across the top as so, P, Q, R, and it's best to put them in alphabetical order. So the third step is to fill in the truth values for each of our statement columns. Now we have eight rows in our table. So since there are only tr two truth values, true or false, we know that in each column there are only two possibilities, true or false. So half the time each simple statement is going to be true and the other half it's going to be false. So our first column is going to be very easy. We can just make the first half true and the second half false. That's very simple. Now you might think that you can just carry this method over in the other two columns and make the first half of each of them true and the second half false. But that's not going to work because if you look, you'll notice that we've actually only got two possible combinations of truth values here. We've got when they're all true and when they're all false. That's only two. We need eight. We need a case in which P is true and the other two are false. We need a case where P and Q are true and R is false and so on and so forth. So this method is not going to give us all of the possible combinations of truth values. So what's the right way to do it? Well, luckily, there is a fairly simple method that if you follow, you'll always get it right. So here's what we do. Again, notice in the P column, the first half are true, the second half are false. So we have four T's and four F's. Now, when we move to the Q column, we simply take that four and divide it in half to get two. So the first two rows will be two, true, and then the next two will be false. And we simply repeat that pattern until we complete the column. So you'll see that in the Q column, half of the rows are true and half of the rows are false. But now we've actually got four truth value combinations. We've got where P and Q are both true, where P is true and Q is false, where P is false and Q is true, and when they're both false. Okay, now when we move over to the R column, we take that two that we had in the Q column, and divide in half again and get one. So we put one T, one F, one T, one F, and so on until we finish the column. Now once again, we have half of the rows true and half of the rows false. But now if you look, if you, you pay close attention, you'll see that we have all eight possible combinations of truth values. So let's review quickly. So you have a statement like this and you need to make a truth table. How do you do it? You need to complete three tasks. First, figure out how many rows the table needs. And again, 
The formula is 2 to the n, where n is the number of statement letters. Second, create the statement columns. And finally, fill in the truth values. So let's do this one more time at full speed with a new statement, this one, which is if, if p then q, then p. First, how many rows do we need? Well, in this case, we've got two statement letters, p and q, so n is equal to 2. So there are 2 to the 2, or 2 squared rows, which is 4. So here are 4 rows. Next, we create the statement columns. Each statement letter gets its own column. They go alphabetically across the stop as so. Next, we fill in the truth values. In our first column, the P column, since we have four rows, we're going to have the first two rows true and the next two rows false. Then we divide in half again for the Q column, so we'll have one true and one false, and repeat that pattern until we complete the table. And we're done. So that concludes part one of setting up the truth table. In the next part, I'll show you the last step.